week, uh, just talk about the preparations and those final preparations for NMSU. Yeah, you know, you never feel like you have enough time, particularly this early in the season. Uh, uh, but they do have a lot of the same personnel they used a year ago. That helps. Uh, uh, the problem is uh, there's some things we can't duplicate in practice, like their size and their ability to uh, to rebound the ball. They're they're plus 19 on the boards, and that is a uh, that's an issue for us. How much emphasis has it been to keeping players' emotions in check, um, keeping your head right, going into the hustle environment on the road for the first time? Well, I, I don't necessarily worry about uh, our guys getting out of control. I, I, I don't. I think that we're a disciplined group. I think we understand um, playing hard and playing within yourself. Uh, but the road always presents challenges. I'm sure that that one will uh, try to present itself, but I don't anticipate that being a problem. How do you try and uh, teach, especially some of the out of towners, the importance and the history of this road? You know, no, uh, we, we haven't talked a great deal about it other than uh, there's going to be a lot of people in the stands and uh, they're going to have very good uh, uh, players on the floor. We've watched a lot of film of uh, last year and this year. So I think they understand that uh, New Mexico State's going to present uh, a, a, a challenge similar to what we're going to see in our conference. And is there, maybe it's too early to comment, but is there anything you can say about the players you signed or early signing day? You know, uh, no, we don't have all of our letters in. We do have three guys that, that uh, we have received letters from. We're anticipating and hoping for a fourth. But uh, when we get them all in, then we're going to, uh, we'll have a statement for you. Yeah. Matt, all right, freshman of the week, what did it feel like uh, to get, you know, to get that honor? Oh, it was a great feeling. You know, sitting out for a year, then coming back for my first game. And, and then, well, that was the only game for the week. But getting that award, you know, it feels really good to be back. about just the challenge of going up against uh, Bular and NMSU and So, you know, we're looking forward to it. Uh, I've played against him now for a couple of years. He's a big guy, big body out there. So, you know, you got to adjust your shots a little bit. You know, those easy jump hooks that you normally get aren't going to be there. So we're going to have to, you know, find some open looks. How's the, the concussion? How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. I'm back at it uh, 100%, I feel like. So I'm just looking forward to getting back out there for the first time. Uh, I know it just has a lot of history to it, and I mean this is gonna be a good game. So this is what we're getting prepared for. You know, we've been working hard for it. Uh, practices we're going at each other really well, so and it's really good to have said back. You know, I think we're gonna have a great week. Yeah, really. Said as a leader, how do you kind of keep the young guys' emotions in check? You know, what the be around, hit the crowd, and the mess with does like a job. Though. Yeah, you know, we've been talking to them. It's gonna be a hostile environment. Uh, I remember my freshman year going out there and everyone yelling at you. They got all your background information and everything. It's just something you gotta be prepared for. I mean, you know, it kind of feels like a high school rivalry game, but, you know, with 15,000 people or whatever they hold over there. So you just got to, you know, play your game, stay focused, and not worry about the crowd.